What's poppin' YouTube? Today we are going over my first shopping haul since I leave in eight weeks. This is now what I'm gonna start doing on my shopping. Okay, let's go. So if you watched last week's video, you know that I'm having a tiny little panic attack inside of myself because I love The Walking Dead. I've been with them since the comic book has come out just to make sure that I'm a well-rounded, a well-rounded Walking Dead fan. Yes, The Walking Dead board game. This is a really fun game. I enjoy it quite a bit. And you can play by yourself. You can survive the zombie apocalypse all on your lonesome. So I will be bringing this with me. Mostly because I love board games and then I also love The Walking Dead. So this is the best of both worlds. Worlds. And it's a really fun game. So next up is my new camper travel hiking backpack whatever I love this backpack because it's orange it's bright I'm gonna be able to spot my backpack from a mile away it also has my initials on it which is awesome so that way I can always find it and then what makes it really cool is inside it's got all these different pockets and you can just load this thing up I can fit like clothes and shoes and junk in here and then it has outside pockets I love outside pockets and it's got like awesome padding and cushioning and tiny little clippy thingies here on the hook so that way you can clip things while you're walking around so that'll be really cool I like this back so something else super important that I'm gonna need is a tripod so that way I can continue to make really good vlogs um, and I can continue to like journal and all that jazz but I was having the hardest time trying to find a tripod that I'd be able to take with me because right now the tripod that I'm using is like ginormous and it's not really travel friendly. So I actually found this awesome little tripod and it like it's this big so it's going to be able to fit into my backpack but it expands to like 54 inches so that way it's going to be able to go ahead and be long enough and tall enough but still compact enough that I'm going to be able to like look at this look at this the one thing that I worry about is that I did get this at Wally World and it does feel a little bit flimsy to me so I really don't want it to break while I'm over there I might try to like um, strengthen it do something to it but I love how small it is and how big it's gonna get so this is a sleeping bag it's one of those compression sleeping bags I just now figured that out but it's a mummy sleeping bag so let me show you guys how cool it is. And it's blue. I didn't know that in the store. So we're learning something new together. It's blue, but it's like a mummy sleeping bag. And once you get in it, you'll be all secured like a mummy. Which is why I imagine they call it a mummy sleeping bag. little velcro so that like, you get in it right and then you pull a little jawstring and it's a jawstring to your face maybe it's easier to do when you're laying down but yeah you get in it and you're all mummified and then for your extra privacy and protection can't see me I can't see you oh so that's really cool and inside it has like a secret pocket it has a secret pocket on the inside so that way you can store things while you're all mummified which is pretty neat and cool yeah mummy sleeping bag so I got me some microfiber cooling towels just because I sweat a lot and these ones like take the sweat off your body but they also keep you cool so that'll come in handy because I'm sweating now. A sleeping bag ain't no joke, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, cool little bright little microfiber tool. I also got myself a rain suit because it was on sale. This thing was like three bucks, five bucks or something. But they have two rainy seasons there, right? And then you just pull and secure it. And now you're prepared for rain. So I got myself a camelback. I have um, the bags, but my reservoir is just really, um, it's really old. So I just got a whole new reservoir, camelback, fill it up with water, 
It's a backpack filled with water so you can stay hydrated because I sweat a lot. You gotta replace and stay hydrated. So, uh, when we were at the camping store, um, we, I was talking to this guy to figure out like all the things that I would need. And the first thing he was like, you're going out, going in the wilderness, you're gonna need fire. So, I have um, waterproof matches because you never know. Um, fire steel. So it has the fire stick and it has a scraper. And you get like your tinder and stuff together. And when I'm not gonna do it now because my mom didn't want me to burn the house down. But you like hit this to the little fire striker and it creates a spark. And you position that spark so that way it hits your Kindle or your tinder or whatever you're trying to set on fire. And then when the spark picks it up, you've got fire, which is pretty cool. And then it also has like a whistle on it. So that way you can go ahead and um, stay safe. Fire and an alarm. There you go. So the next thing I got is a camper's shower. A also known as a solar shower. Here's what you do with this. This is a bag. It is a black trash bag, basically. And it's attached to a spigot. And what you do is you fill your trash bag up with water and you put the bag of water in the sun and you wait five hours. There's like a whole equation for figuring out the temperature of your water and the time in the sun. But you wait X amount of hours for the water to warm and then you hang it from a tree and that's how you take a shower. I don't know if I'm going to have running water and then this was one of the things that the Peace Corps put on my list of things to bring. So I got my solar shower. Um, it also says great for washing dishes. So maybe I'll wash some dishes. I feel like that could be like invigorating. Like those, um, what are they? The shampoo commercials where the girls are like, oh, yes. Like maybe like bathing outside in the hot sun after a long day will be like invigorating. Maybe bathing outside in the hot sun will be a pain in the ass, but I will be clean. <laughs> That's all that matters, so. Now, I think this is the coolest thing. This is, the, like, of all the stuff that I just showed you, this is the coolest thing that I have gotten. It is a flashlight. But not only is it a flashlight, but it has a crank at the back. So it doesn't ever need any batteries. So you crank it, and it says that if you crank it for a minute, you get 18 minutes of flashlight use. And the flashlight is, like, super duper bright, and it even does, like, a little flashy thingy, so that way it can keep you safe. But here's the thing that takes it over the edge it has a usb and a 12 volt socket in the bottom if you open up this bottom little thing here it has a usb and a, and a 12 volt socket so you can charge your cell phone i think that's so cool so i don't mind if i have to sit <laughs> in my house and wind my flashlight all night to get my cell phone to work. That's really cool to me. That's what makes it the coolest thing here. So that has been my very first shopping excursion for the Peace Corps. If you think of something that you think that I might need, go ahead and hit me in the comment section or um, tweet me or write on the fan page. And all that information is going to be down in the links. See your girl Nay. I'm going to check y'all later. Thanks for watching.